Hi guys, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, this is a dried result from last night. And um, I realized after watching the, and editing the video, the reason why I didn't get any reaction over here was because I didn't tilt it. <laughs> I only tilted it this far. So, and then this gr um, green gold turned into like a beautiful, actually, avocado green or, um, yeah, it's kind of cool, or moss green. So um, a couple of people have said, well, but where are the pearls? Well, pearls are generally white. And that's what we um, usually do have with the, um, the white cell mix, or the white um, cloud mix. So this cloud mix is dark. And what I wanted to show you is right here. These are considered the pearls because the dark paint is coming up underneath. Um, so they, they look more like lacing than they do um, pearls, but I'm really happy with uh, the colors. Um, however, I want to try to get some pearls on this. So I have mixed, took my drips from last night and added a little bit of um, quinacridone violet to it and we're going to go again but I'm really kind of like yesterday I wasn't that thrilled about it and now I'm kind of really liking it even um, all of this that I spent a lot of time doing so uh, I might eliminate a couple of colors I might not I'm not sure but uh, I'm going to try it again all right all right so colors 24 karat gold, quinacridone nicolaser gold with a little bit of 24 karat gold. This is Amsterdam uh, turquoise. That's the expert series. And this is Amsterdam expert series in um, da -da -da -da, Naples yellow red light. <laughs> da -da -da -da. What was that? <laughs> and this is the Modern Masters Pearl White with a little bit of iridescence white from Golden mixed up. And this helps the gold come through. You put this down first and you put the gold on top of it. And speaking of gold, we have green gold. And I do still have some of the Australian Red Violet from Matisse, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use it because of this it's a little bit too close so I want the colors to really pop and I was really kind of happy that I used a different color palette last night um, it's it's all trial and error but so this is a um, obviously this is a canvas that I'm going to repurpose it is not a gallery wrapped canvas it's just a practice one so do we have you no we don't you know i've convinced my camera moves <laughs> probably does uh, now i'm looking there okay so i'm going to put down the base just a nice rich and so i'm not going to do a split base it's just going to be this base nice rich plum color should be using this whole thing. We'll see if I need it all. And I have gloves on tonight because I spent 20, maybe 30 minutes digging the paint out from underneath my fingernails last or this morning. Oh, there's a goober. Goober, booger, whatever you want to call it. There's another one. So to this, I've added a little bit of titanium white because I want the purple to show up. I don't want it to turn black, which um, some of these paints are known to do when they're really, really dark. And there it goes. We want to stretch, stretch, stretch. Yeah, that's a lot of paint. Probably didn't need that much, but what the heck. They are drips. 
I'll probably use them again. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring it back. I did not prep the sides at all. I was just looking to see if I'm really recording. So there's gonna be some other loveliness in here. It's actually, I can see a sheen from all of the um, metallics we had in it yesterday, all that gold. All right. Oh, I forgot to, oh, don't have a water bucket here. Oh no. <laughs> so let me see here. What do I want to put down first? Not as much gold as yesterday, but I do I'd like to put that down first. So hoping to try and get it. Let's do it across this time. There, that's better. I will put some of this. Kind of mixes nice with the uh, the gold and the. saw some really cool lacing with the blue. All right, I have no idea if this is gonna work. Famous last words. Back and forth first. And we're going to stretch it down. And there's all the gold again. <laughs> but we love gold. We love gold. This is a test. It is just a test. I like to see which paints react and which ones don't, you know? And I might. messing with my gold. Yeah. 
All I know is that um, I'm not talking again. That would be my new washer and dryer. <laughs> That's too funny. I get a kick out of that. Yeah, the um, Naples yellow red light really reacts well. That's why I put it down over top of the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And there's still lots of paint on here. Shoot. Well, oh, I'm getting lacing up there. See, it's, I guess it's not really pearls. It's considered lacing when it pops through and under, when it's dark like that. But they are actual pearls. They're pearls, but they're pearls of a different color. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with this. I have no idea. Looks pretty ugly right now. But uh, that green against the purple looks really nice. I like it against the um, the blue here too, the turquoise and the, turquoise and purple always go nice together. That looks pretty strange. But is that a papaya? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna put you on uh, time-lapse and uh, see what happens with this. I might even just leave it and just see what happens with this, just to see the reactions in the paints. Or play. I like to play too. I'll be back.
Hey guys, I got some butane fuel in. Now the three on the right, I got from Amazon. The one on the left, I got from Publix. The three on the right cost me $17. The one on the left cost me $3.49. So Amazon's not always great. And I cannot return those three little ones because they are hazmat. So I am stuck. So anyhow, I just wanted to let you know, mm, um, don't get fleeced. However, see these bottles here, these golden, all of these luscious golden paints. I got 13 bottles for $95 on eBay and they're four ounces each. So I did the math and it's like $290 worth of um, golden fluid paints. Oh. I might have to use this comb pretty soon too. I'm getting inspired. Okay, I'm gonna show you um, um, the wet result. All right, guys. So this is a practice canvas. I did a whole bunch of stuff just to see how the paints would react. And it actually looks like uh, a fantastical creature which I don't know if you saw it, but there was a bug, huge bug. And um, <laughs> he, um, he, I don't know, it looks like, uh, he just, um, that's what the inspiration, I don't even know what that is right there. That little white thing, it looks like maybe that was a bug. Oh, and the other thing that happened was um, I pulled my pipette out and got water all over the canvas. So I'll probably not be keeping this, but I did want to see what, um, how the paints reacted and pretty happy with that. There's a lot of sparkle in that uh, base coat. Look at that. Um, so yeah, I'm loving, loving, loving that turquoise up against the, the purple and the green, it's going to deepen up to that, that moss green. I'd like to try this sometime with like a brighter green. Um, and I, let me tell you something, guys. That bug, I thought he went underneath the canvas and maybe drowned or something. Um, no, I felt something on my foot. Damned if it wasn't him. He was on my foot. It just freaked me out and he was a big beetle. So, so we've got, this is considered, I guess, lacing, but if you inverted this and had the blue as a dark color and then the purple as white, these would be um, pearls. So yeah, it's just the way we look at things. Um, it's an optical illusion. So yeah, and look at this guy. He is definitely a bug, an insect of some kind. I even put an eye on him. So that was my inspiration tonight. The big fat bug that landed on my table and then landed on my foot. So please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ciao for now.